Hi, this is Amy, and today we are going to look at how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube video. So the first thing I want to do is show you what I mean by a thumbnail um, and kind of encourage you that this would be a good thing to do for your YouTube channel. So when you look at our YouTube channel, you can see that each video has got a little picture that represents it. And hopefully, you know, I, I don't think it's the most consistent YouTube channel you've ever seen in your life, but hopefully you kind of recognize the sort of style that we're using for our YouTube channel. Um, like there are a lot of these videos that have got this colored box, box with one of the fried technology colors on the outside. So this is what we're talking about making today. And if you don't make one of these, what you'll be doing is just choosing a piece of your video to be the thumbnail. But what we're going to do is create a custom thumbnail using a Google slide. All right, our first step is going to be to create a new Google Slides presentation, and we want to make sure that the dimensions of our slides are 16 by 9. So we're going to go into File and Page Setup, and we're going to make sure that it's set on widescreen 16 by 9. Once we've done that, we can make this slide look however we want. So Let's just start off with a blank one and I'll show you how we made these with the outline like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a shape and I'm going to get this special shape right here, which is the frame. Now I'm going to draw a frame all the way across my slide and I didn't get it quite up to the top. So I'm just going to pull it up a little bit more and I'm going to click off of it to make sure I have completely covered this slide and it looks like I have. Now with some shapes, you see this little yellow um, handle right here. And this little yellow handle has a special function. What we do when we find these is pull on them. So I am just clicking, holding, and dragging that little yellow handle until I get my picture frame to be the shape that I want it to be, the width that I want it to be. Now, I've already got our logo in another slide, so I'm gonna paste it over here. And I'm going to use this extension called Color Pick Eyedropper. Hold on just a second, I'll drop it down for a sec so you can see that. Um, Color Pick Eyedropper, this is it right here. And I'm going to use it to grab one of the colors from our logo, which I will then change this border into. So I'm going to use it to grab this kind of um, green color. And I am just clicking on this code right here. This is called the hex code. And what I'm going to do is add that color to our custom colors down here. Now, actually, that color's already in here because I've already added it before, but I'll show you how just in case. So I just pasted Control V, the color code, right into the blank, and now I can see my frame has changed to that color. Now, if I wanted to make this darker border, this gray border thicker around there or make it a different color. I can do that with my border selection tool right here. But what I really want to do is I really just want to get rid of that border. So I'm just going to change it to match the same color. You can also change it and make it transparent. So once you get the border color that you like um, and you get you know, maybe you've got a logo or a Twitter name or something like that you want to put at the top of your video. Then we'll just start putting some text into our video to describe what it is and kind of advertise what it is we're going to be uh, talking about in our video. So one way you can do that is to use word art. So I'm going to use insert word art and the video I'm making right now is going to be make a custom thumbnail for YouTube with slides. Now that's a lot of text to go across, so I'm gonna find a split point for this and I'm going to split it. So I see down here I can use Shift Enter for multiple lines. So I'll just come to the point where I think I wanna split it and Shift Enter and then when I get ready, I'll hit Return. Now I'm gonna make mine sort of fill the space that I've got here. Um, before I even start changing the font. So I'll get a better idea when I change the font what it's going to look like. Um, we have several fonts that we kind of routinely use that sort of match our branding. And this is something, even if you're new to this, you might want to think about, you know, 
what kind of font does match the brand that you want to create? Because when you're when you're making a YouTube channel and putting videos out there, I mean, you are creating a brand. I really wish somebody would have told me that, you know, a long, long time ago when I started making YouTube videos, because I didn't really realize that for years that that's what I was doing. And we all are doing that, even if you're just an individual trying to help other individuals or a teacher trying to help students. So I like to use sort of a a font that's gonna be big and thick because this is gonna be something that people see really small. So go through your fonts. You can go to the A plus more fonts up here and find something that you feel represents you and I'll do the same and then we'll stretch it out to maximize the space we've got. All right, I decided to use this one called Erica One. And now that I've got it kind of roughly in place where I want it, let me make it more in the center. You can see how when I move it right to the center, I get that crosshairs in the middle of it. Um, so that lets me know that it's right in the place where it should be. Now I'm gonna select a custom color and I can also do an outline color if I want to for that font. And again, I just want to make sure that it's dark enough that people can see it. Um, we've got a color scheme that we have decided upon, which is represented by this logo. That may be something that, that you want to decide too. I mean, don't stress, your out too, stress yourself out too much. It's not like you can't go back and change this later because you can. So you don't want to like you know, ruin your day stressing about it, but it's just something to, to think about and to realize that you're doing. All right, so get your slide like you want it to be on your YouTube video for your thumbnail. And now we're gonna click on File, Download As, and we're gonna download this slide as a PNG. Now, if you are a perfectionist and you don't feel like this is high enough quality for you, there's two different things you can do. One thing you can do is you can go into your page setup and you can change this to custom and you can double these numbers. So you could change this to 20 by, let's see, that would be uh, 11 point something. So if you change this to 20 by 11 point whatever, then it's going to make a much larger image when you download it. All right, so this is a video that nobody can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the custom thumbnail to this video, but let me show you how I got here first. So here I am at the videos page of my channel and I'm gonna to go to the Creator Studio. And now that I'm at my Creator Studio, I'm gonna find the video that I want to add the thumbnail to and I'm gonna to go to edit on that video. And that's what opens up this page right here. Now you have to wait until this video has been uploaded and you're also gonna have to verify your channel, but you will see uh, messages to verify your channel within YouTube. And also remember, if you don't see that message and you really are determined to add a custom thumbnail, all you have to do is just do a Google search. So verify YouTube account and look it up, click through the links, and, and you'll be able to follow those directions. There's nothing really hard about YouTube. Sometimes things are initially like you can't find them, but just go ahead and Google it. That's what I do. I, I hardly even look around on there. I just Google it every time. All right, so here we are, and we see our custom thumbnail button. Our video is uploaded. Our channel's verified, and so now we can just click custom thumbnail, I just downloaded that image to my computer's download folder and now I can select it and open it and now this is the custom thumbnail of my channel. All I would have to do is click save changes. So hopefully that helps you make your YouTube videos and your YouTube channel look a, you know, a little bit more professional and also adds kind of a fun touch to your videos. Um, you can also use that as the opening intro slide to your video. So even if you're doing this with Screencastify, if you record with Screencastify, you record this window only and you put it in presentation mode before you start, then you'll be able to put this up as the initial thing people see when they start your video, and then you can pause it before you transition to your next page to make that move over seamless. So I hope that helps. I hope it's a fun thing that you enjoy. If you have any questions or comments or other ideas for videos or things that you would like to learn how to do, please leave those in the comments on YouTube and we will get back to you. Thanks a lot and have a great day.